Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Vivi and today I'm going to be giving you a guide on how to export your saves from Stadia and import them into the PC version of the game. Can't guarantee this is going to work for every game but it does work for a few games and I'm going to give you the example of Cyberpunk 2077. I did recently post a guide on Reddit on how to do this but I think I'm going to edit a better version today. So first thing you need to do is take your browser and go to takeout.google.com. On here you'll see a list of all the different Google services that you have. You can just go ahead and deselect all of them, scroll down until you find Stadia, and just tick the box next to that. Then you need to hit on next step. It'll take you to ask you which um, data you want to include and what formats. I want to just do a one-off export of my saves. I'm going to export it as a zip. And if I do have a lot of saves, what will happen is they'll send me multiple zip files. I can choose what size I want them to be. I would typically leave this at two gigabytes, as some applications won't allow you to extract files larger than two gigabytes. And then you just need to hit export. What will happen now is you're going to get an email from Google telling you that your file is ready to export. Once you have logged in, you'll be brought to a page showing you all of your different exports. The export that I'm looking for, again, is the Stadia one here, and I'm just going to click on download, and then wait for this to finish downloading. When your download is finished, you'll be left with a zip file that you just need to extract, and it will contain a folder called Takeout. In this folder, if I go into Stadia, go into Gaming, and then Game Save, you'll see a list of all the different save games for the games I have. Within there, again, you're going to see that I have some Cyberpunk saves, and I'm going to use this save just here. On the left hand side, you will see the contents of my Cyberpunk saves folder. This might be in a different location for you depending on where you've installed to, and it may be different for different games, so it's not always going to be in the same location. Cyberpunk, however, saves in your user folder in the saved games folder. And the folder format looks similar to this. If I go into one of the manual saves I currently have, you'll notice that the files look exactly the same as in the Stadia version. I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm actually going to name it Manual Save 6 rather than Manual Save 4, just to show you that this is one that I've made. As I go into the folder, all I need to do is take the data from the zip file and copy it across. That will now load within Cyberpunk 2077. Now that I've copied the save across, I'm just going to show you that the save is exactly the same for each version of the game. So on the right hand screen you'll see that I've got Stadia, and on the left hand screen I've actually got the game running in GOG. The reason I've done it this way is so that you can actually see that I'm not pulling any sort of wizardry with the editing, it's actually running live side by side. So uh, on the Stadia version, I'm just going to show you the save that I've copied across, so it's the most recent save, and it's actually a quick save on Stadia. And if I go across to Cyberpunk 2077 on my PC and go to load game, you'll see that I have a manual save called Manual Save 6 just here. You'll see that the times match up on both versions, so you'll see that it was made at 12.13 on the 12th of December 2020 at 11.57am. Uh, so I'm just going to load up each of these two saves just to um, show you that it's going to be in exactly the same spot done this right, just one click of a button should load it on both screens. So you'll see I'm in exactly the same position in each game. All the NPCs are pretty much in the same position as well. Um, it's literally a copy from the Stadia version. So that's basically how you can move your save from Stadia to PC. So that's going to be it for today's video, um, I'm going to do the typical YouTuber thing again, apologise if it's getting boring for you, but um, if you enjoyed what you watched today, please feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section below. Also a like and subscribe would be fantastic, it does help the channel get noticed, hopefully we'll get you know bumped up in that YouTube algorithm if you find it useful. I'm also trying to raise funds for charity called Versus Arthritis, you'll find a just giving link in the description below. If you feel like giving a donation, if you like what I do, feel free to pop one in there. 
all proceeds will go to charity. Thank you very much.